bueno, seguimos en el día de entrevistas, el primer día aquí en Ultra Music Festival después de tres años y tenemos a uno de los consentidos o de los más buscados actualmente a nivel mundial, sobre todo en México, Rainer Sondermill. How are you, man? I'm all good. How are you? Fine, thank you. Man, how do you feel after, you know, the pandemic, uh, two years, uh, maybe three years, that uh, like this uh, this festival Ultra was and not made it because of the pandemic? Yeah. How do you feel with this? Yeah, I'm really happy that it's now happening again and that we're standing here. Actually, Ultra was, uh, I was supposed to play in 2020. But it was, I think, one of the first or maybe the first festival that got canceled because of, uh, yeah. we all know what happened. Uh, so it feels great to be here, meet everybody again, and see happy faces, sun is shining. It's perfect. Yeah. Le preguntaba que cómo se sentía de regresar a los festivales después de la pandemia. Decía que bueno, que se siente muy bien, que de hecho fue de los primeros que se canceló Ultra. La gente está con una cara muy, muy de felicidad. El uh, clima inmejorable, entonces se siente, se siente bien estar aquí. Man, you are like in this moment one of the um, most hype artists, I think, with your music. With uh, do you have a secret for I don't know an inspiration for making music for how do you What do you think when you sit in the studio and, and begin to, to work? Uh, yeah, I always just make what I feel like in that moment. So I, I, for me, what kills inspiration is when you go in with a plan. Uh, you can have a plan, but then like you, some, usually I get like inspiration um, on random moments. And then I try to go immediately to the studio or I sing it in and put the notes in my phone and then go as soon as possible. But the best thing is just to make whatever your, uh, yeah, your gut say that you should do, you know? So I don't go in with a plan like it has to be techno, it has to be this. I just go sit down and make music and that turns out to work the best for me, yeah. Now, le pregunto que si tiene algún secreto o algún tip para hacer su música, cómo se inspira. Dice que puedes ir con un plan, puedes llegar, él incluso con el teléfono tira notas, canta, pero que realmente la inspiración cuando llega en el momento no, no sigue ningún plan, simplemente se deja llevar en ese momento, no sea techno, no sea house, lo importante es en ese momento dejarse llevar por lo que está viviendo o lo que está sintiendo en ese momento. Talking about the electronic scene around the world, how do you see, you know, with all these new, uh, how can I say, all these new projects and the new music, uh, you know, uh, there are like a social media, it's very important right now, like TikTok, like Instagram, for uh, Uh, you know, make music bigger. How, yeah. What do you think about this? Is it important for you as a musician and a, a, a DJ? Yeah, it's, it's very important. Like um, these days, uh, social media is like the most important way to com communicate with your uh, audience. Um, and it has like two sides. It's like uh, on one side, it's uh, very time consuming and um, um, how do you say it? Like also something that a musician maybe doesn't want to do. On the other side, there's also a great chance for people to Uh, find new music that I didn't know about yeah. like because these days you get on your phone and you can see basically the whole world if you want so it's, it's harder to get heard because there's like millions of people trying to do the same but on the other hand it's also possible to hear music that you could never hear before like 50 years ago so it's, uh, yeah, it's a coin with, uh, with two sides so basically le preguntaba de social media, de qué opina, dice que es muy importante. Como músico, a veces igual muchos músicos no lo ven eh, tan trascendental, tan importante, pero hoy en día, pues la música se puede escuchar, puedes prácticamente agarrar tu teléfono y escuchar música que hace 15 años posiblemente no podrías conocer o no podrías escuchar. Entonces, hoy en día es sumamente importante estar ahí y bueno, pues trabajar de la mano con uh, pues, las redes sociales, internet, etcétera, etcétera, para dar a conocer tu música. Finally, man, uh, I don't know if you are like uh, with uh, this uh, new stuff of uh, cryptos, uh, NFTs, uh, new technologies that uh, musicians, DJs are using for. Uh, yeah. What do you think about uh, these uh, new technologies? Yeah, well, I, I have to uh, admit that I'm not too deep into this whole uh, crypto and NFT thing, but what I do like from what I've seen from it, like um, uh, new technology always creates um, uh, like a uh, new inspiration for uh, yeah for, for doing new things you're able to do new things and I kind of like uh, the way that NFT makes it possible to uh, uh, label things as original in the digital world which actually for sure will have a, a lot of uh, great use for music uh, at the moment but um, uh, on the other hand I haven't uh, dive into it myself as well because I also like to see with these things like see where it goes and then maybe later you know <laughs> <laughs> It's good, it's good. Le preguntó de las nuevas tecnologías como criptos y NFTs que muchos DJs productores están usando para dar a conocer su música, para crear pues un nuevo negocio, una nueva forma de negocio. Él dice que no está tan empapado de esto, pero que bueno, que va a dejar correr y ver qué pasa con estas nuevas tecnologías. Y bueno, si ve que funcionan, este, pues ahí empaparse un poco más, pero por ahora está como que dejándolo pasar y ver cómo, cómo funciona esto. 
Rin, thank you very much for this interview. Thank and uh, I don't know, some, uh, something you want to, to say to your Mexican crowd? Yeah, well, I was actually uh, a couple of weeks ago, I was yeah. in Mexico. And uh, thanks for that. Your energy is great. I had a great time and I hope to be, uh, be back soon. Rocket. Thank you so much. Desde Ultra Music Festival. Ahí se ven.